everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to look at the clamshell exercise and some different variations that you can utilize to really strengthen your hips after knee replacement surgery. Hey everyone, so today we're looking at the clamshell exercise. This is a great exercise for strengthening the muscles of your hips, uh, particularly, particularly your gluteus medius and your gluteus minimus muscles. These are muscles that are really important for the lateral stability of your hip, so the ability to keep your pelvis nice and aligned when you're walking, when you're doing functional activities. Um, really big important muscles to maintain and keep strong and to not let the front part, your hip flexors and these muscles, um, your tensor fascia lata, to really um, dominate the hip. We want these muscles to be strong and to play a role and do their part. So clamshell exercise, I like to do it with the TheraBand. Um, not necessarily that you need a TheraBand, but it really helps to provide that resistance. And all you want to do is put it kind of right below your knees or right above the knees. Right on top of the knees can be a little uncomfortable for the crease behind the knees, I've noticed. But if you can tolerate it, perfectly okay. And you're going to lay on your side. And what you want to think about is what is the angle of your hips? So how far forward are your hips flexed compared to your torso or your trunk? And they found that anywhere from... 30 degrees to 60 degrees is perfectly all right and you get similar benefits. So if you think about, you know, a 90 degree angle would be out straight or zero degrees technically. And then 45 degrees, so you want to be kind of a little less than 45 or a little more than 45. And the knees are going to be bent as well. And for a clamshell, as a good cue, I like to have people put their hands right on your pelvis here, on your iliac crest. And then you can actually use that as a cue to keep yourself from compensating. So when you're doing a clamshell, you don't want to rotate your hips backward. You don't want to have the movement coming from your trunk or your hips rotating. You want it to really come from the legs and those glute muscles. So putting the hand there helps to stabilize that hip, keep it in a good position. You can also put a thumb, your, that back thumb, you can actually poke that right into your glutes, the top of your glutes, and feel those muscles contracting and working. And so what you do with a clamshell is you're going to keep your feet together, and then you're lifting your knees apart, and then back together. You want to be slow and controlled the whole time. Always focus on control and technique rather than speed. So this is the very basic standard clamshell. And then you can start to add a lot of variations from here. So there's also the reverse clamshell, which is focusing more on hip internal rotation. With the reverse clamshell, you'd actually would want the band around your feet um, to give that resistance. So this is the hip internal rotation muscles. You can also do um, a clamshell, so you can go in kind of this side plank position and do a clamshell like this. So this starts to activate some of those oblique muscles, um, your quadratus lumborum, these muscles to help keep yourself in this side plank position while doing it. This is a little more advanced, obviously. And there's also things like you can do three-way clamshells. So you can do clamshell, internal clamshell, external clamshell, and then come back down. So for show you that again, so you can do your standard clamshell and internal clamshell. You show you have to keep a little bit of that hip abduction there. You'll feel that in your hips. And then come back down. Normal clamshell, reverse clamshell, and then come back down. So that's a little bit of a variation, a little bit of a progression. But really, the main thing is at least initially, is really focus on that basic clamshell. So laying on your side, making sure the hips aren't rotating inward or outward, keeping a nice kind of neutral position, 
about that 30 to 60 degrees of hip flexion, knees bent, and you're just coming up and down, again with that hand on the, the iliac crest of your pelvis to keep that stability and keep that good positioning while you do it. Alright, so that is the clamshell exercise, um, a really important exercise for hip strength and hip, um, hip stability. It's of course really important to not just focus on the knee when you have knee replacement surgery, everything's working together as this connected chain, so we want to make sure you have good stability in your hips, in your um, trunk mus musculature, in the calves, everywhere throughout the legs and the body is going to give you the best um, function and best ability to tolerate different activities and exercises. Thank you very much for watching everyone. This has been the Need to Know Show. Have a great day.